We're learning more about the Biden robocall scam that circulated ahead of New Hampshire's primary election. Now we know who was behind it and his motive, claiming to pull the stunt in order to bring attention to the dangers of AI, even comparing himself to American revolutionary heroes in an interview with NBC News. U.S. officials believe this to be the first attempt to interfere with an election process with the use of artificial intelligence. A robocall impersonating Joe Biden was sent to at least 20,000 voters in January, just before the New Hampshire primary. The call told voters to save their vote for November in an attempt to deter primary voters from showing up. At first, authorities didn't know who made the call. Now we know by his own admission, it was Steve Kramer behind the idea, a longtime election campaign employee working for Dean Phillips, the Democratic challenger to Biden in New Hampshire's presidential primary. Phillips' campaign immediately denounced the robocall, had no knowledge of Kramer's involvement, and said they would have immediately terminated him if they had known. Kramer paid a magician 150 bucks to tinker with AI tools to create a Biden voice message, something the magician, Paul Carpenter, first admitted to NBC and Kramer later confirming. Kramer first commissioned an earlier fake call impersonating Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, which Kramer called just a test before unleashing the fake Biden call. Authorities in New Hampshire are investigating the robocall for potentially violating state laws against voter suppression. Kramer says he received a subpoena from the Federal Communications Commission and welcomes the House of Representatives to call on him to publicly testify. Kramer told NBC, quote, this is a way for me to make a difference, and I have. I'm not afraid to testify, and I know why I did everything. If I had come out right away, it takes away from the goal of the call. Even individuals acting alone can quickly and easily use AI for misleading and disruptive purposes. We previously reported on a Texas telemarketing company potentially linked to delivering the phone calls. Kramer says that company had no knowledge of the content of the call prior to its delivery, and he'd use them again, except they are now done with his business.